Alright guys, if you haven't heard much about Gas Gas, the bike brand is booming recently and there has been a lot, a lot of talk within the moto community about Gas Gas. So Gas Gas is actually a Spanish motorcycle manufacturer established in 1985. It is a company that is well known for their like trials and enduro style bikes and they are just starting to get their feet wet in the motocross dirt bike side of things. Back in 2019, Gas Gas was actually purchased by KTM and ever since then, we have seen more and more and more gas gas dirt bikes come into the mix. We have been hearing more and more and more about gas gas since then and I don't think that is going to change anytime soon. Glenn Koldenhoff is over in the MXGP is absolutely shredding. He is on a gas gas bike and now Justin Barsha has just signed leaving Yamaha in the dust signing with gas gas for the 2021 season so i thought in honor of that and in honor of the super clean gas gas bike mod that pay 2021 has made for supercross the game number three i will leave the link to pay 2021's mods and all of the good stuff if you guys do want to go check it out down below in the description but in honor of barsha's new contract let's hop into supercross 3 let's check out the gas gas mod and let's shred as barsha the barsha replica in supercross three. I'm gonna point out a few things right away. I know you guys roast me in the comments whenever the setup is not 100% perfect. I couldn't be number 51 because Barsha is actually in the game and I can't use his number. I can't steal that. So we're number 50. I have no idea if Barsha is actually going to be running Alpine Stars on Gas Gas or not. I don't know much about the deal. So I honestly just found a recent picture of Barsha and copied that kit. We got the Alpine Stars gear, the Alpine Stars boots, Scott goggles, and a Monster Energy themed bucket. That that's enough of the babbling though guys, we are going to hop in to the action right away here. The 20 second head start challenge as Justin Barsha. Can I get it done or am I going to take that L? Let's get in to shredding on the gas gas. Get all these settings all set up good, medium race length, that all looks A-OK -okay to me. The Stadium of Nashville, baby, let's go. The 20 second head start challenge, this track is tricky, it is tough, so this challenge might actually be tough to get done. Justin Barsha, man, I feel like if he changed his number to 50, that would actually be a vibe. That looks pretty clean. The kit might not be perfect, but guys, we are gonna have some fun here within the game. If you do enjoy at any point in time, make sure to go down there, smash that thumbs up button for me. For a question of the video, let me know in the comments below. Are you guys motocross fans or supercross fans? Which one do you prefer? Supercross season is on its way. Does that get you guys hyped up or what? Let me know in the comments below. And let's go. You know what? The AI are attacking the track right now. When that timer in the top right hits, 9 minutes and 35. That's my cue to go. Let's hit the track. See if I can put in some clean laps and make the 25 second head start challenge actually happen. I gotta say... Right off the bat, the kit is looking clean, the kit's looking fresh, and good vibes up in here. In here. English is tough. Good vibes for Barsha going in to 2021. It's definitely gonna be funky seeing him on red. I'm so used to seeing Barsha on blue, I honestly don't even remember what he was on before a YZ, before a Yamaha. And now here he is, not even going to Honda to join the red team. It's going to gas gas. That's something I never expected in a million years. Nashville's a pretty fun track, but it's tricky. That's the thing. These rhythms are tough and to hit the big lines consistently, man, I struggle with it. It's also a track I haven't played very much as well. So it's not like I can just hop in and absolutely shred this track because I don't know it like the back of my hand. It's not like a Detroit. For some reason I like have Detroit memorized. That is the track I can hop in and hit some big lines on lap one. But if I'm being honest, Nashville, this is a track that I really, really, really have not played that much here within this game. And I'm not sure why. It might be one of like the harder tracks within the game. So that's only going to make you a better rider, right? Playing this track more and more and more. As you guys can see, like that rhythm, eating me alive for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Quad into this section, we can then quad to here and quad into the corner. That line's not too hard to hit. It's actually, it's a pretty easy line. Just gotta hit, hit your marks, get a good entry in 
to the rhythm and you should be golden. I gotta hit that line a little a little bit cleaner and uh, I should be hitting some decent laps here. This section's a ton of fun. Across the finish line, up over the Supercross triple. You're gonna land, just stay on the gas and commit. I wonder if I could actually quad up and over that. That would be probably the fast line, but smooth and consistent lines, man. I don't need to be hitting the biggest lines out here, that's for sure. Messed up the triple into this section last lap, so like, look at that. Smooth, easy line through there. And it was definitely quicker than me casing every jump, am I right? All right, I think this is lap number four, and this may be the lap where I actually catch up to the back of the field and start putting a few passes in the bag. Oh, man, getting a little squirrely in that section. That's A-OK, -okay, though. Let's get on the gas in third gear, see if I can make this triple, triple quad to here. I don't know if that's faster. That almost felt like a way, way, way slower line than the line I hit last lap. Now, before I get too far into the video, guys, let's just take a moment to come on in and admire the gas gas bike. Clean. I do believe it is actually just like a graphics kit for the KTM model, but like we got everything down to the gas gas clutch cover up in here. That's what's up. Super clean mod. I do have to take a moment to say shout out to all the mod creators. Pay 2021 making this mod and making it spot on. Without the mod creators, I wouldn't actually be able to do any fun videos like this. So I have to give like a huge shout out to all of the mod creators. Pay 2021 making this mod. I will leave the links to his page and the mod down below in the description if you guys do want to go check it out for yourselves. And guys, the mod creators I've noticed, they are here. They are lurking. They're watching the videos. So if if you guys have any mod suggestions, make sure to drop them in the comments below and who knows, your mod might come true. So lap number five might be the lap where I catch up and put the pass in on Benny Bloss. He is the first one on the list, the first man with a target on his back. There we go, getting this line clean. Finally, hopefully I can keep that consistent. Let's see, can I triple into here? Then I wonder if it's quicker to choke up and jump onto that table. I'm not sure what the fastest line through that section is, but I don't think I am hitting it. On the inside of Benny Bloss there, I'm going to try and hug the inside so there's no shot of him getting back by. Land front end heavy, get back into that flow. Can I get on the inside of Egg I didn't even have to worry. Well, I kind of did have to worry about hitting his bike and going down, but... He cleaned himself out going into that corner. That was that was uh, definitely not what I expected. <laughs> oh, Brayton. <laughs> not much I could do about that one. I was mid-air and just came down on top of the man. There was really no, no saving that once I took off of that jump. P20 here with three and a half minutes left to go. I have a lot of work, a lot of passes to get under my belt and not a lot of time to make those happen so it's time to focus up no more crashes no more mistakes no more going down if i can avoid the ai let's see if i can make this one happen the ai seem to be fast they are definitely on the gas here in nashville let's see if i can get a two for one bogle and paletti right there did i say paletti it's definitely Paulatelli. i totally said paletti <laughs> Onto this table. Let's hunt down Stuart. Let's see if I can get him right here in this rhythm. The passes have started to flow at this point. I really think this line's the fast line. In my opinion, that's probably the fastest way for me to actually get through that section. Then hug that inside. Get down through the start straight. That was quick. Finding that flow here in Nashville. Stewart's there. Oh, I totally envisioned me landing on his head. That's all I could picture after the bar. Bar, 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 bar. On the inside of him. Let's go. Past him and up to 10th at this point. P10. Minute 56 on the clock. A decent amount of time left. Oh, no. Hill, you stay over there, my guy. Stay over there and leave me be. Get into this double line. Try and hold Hill off. I'm going to lock up the brakes. Get on the inside of Johnson. Actually, Tomac, the two-stroke mod there. 
Coming out to play. Get this triple in. This triple to here. P8. Minute 22 on the clock. Aggressive with Tomac. That's what I like to see. Gotta get these passes in the bag. And get them done quick if I want to get this win. Almost got on the gas a little too hard there. Luckily didn't end up going down. A little bit of a send on the finish line there. Freeze. Don't take me out. That's all I... That's all I ask, man, is that you don't... Don't take me out. <laughs> and he almost did. Yo, get away from me. <laughs> He's not letting me have this pass easy, that is for sure. We are, we are coming together like magnets out here. Like magnets. As soon as I thought I was away from him, there he is. Clipping my bars once again. That was chaos. P6, and I'm going to have two laps to go at this point. Two laps to go. This lap and one more on the inside of Marv here. See if I can actually get into the fast line once again. Maybe get up and pass Anderson. If things go to plan, don't need a ton of speed to get into this on-off line that I've been liking. Definitely a good flow through there. Oh, Anderson, I tried, man. Maybe a little too aggressive. I didn't uh, have the drive to go for that block pass, so luckily didn't end up ending badly for me. In the zone, here we go. I'm going to get Anderson right here. Keep him behind me. Get through this whoop section. And it is the last lap charge. 10 seconds down from Cooper Webb. He has checked out with this one. The time is ticking down and we only have a few sections left here to try and get these passes in the bag. Try and hit the big line here, but I think they are actually hitting the big line as well. Close. I am so, so close. But at this point, I think I need a miracle. To make this one happen that is tough through the final whoop section the flames are going off that's how close we were but we finished four 12 laps i was about 2.3 seconds a lap quicker than the leader cooper webb that is it for this one though guys taking p4 didn't manage to get that win i was so so close if i did that 20 second head start challenge i think i would have got it done it was that extra five seconds that costed me that win and the goon moments man a few crashes nonetheless a super fun video justin barsha is moving to gas gas for the 2021 season i hope you guys did enjoy if you did smash that thumbs up button for me and i will see you guys all in the next one. Peace out.